Oh, well, it's good to uh, talk to you guys. Um, it's uh, interesting to be talking about Spock. Um, many of the uh, Agile customers that I uh, started introducing to Groovy fell in love with Spock because it allowed their developers to, to write very succinct tests that uh, were closely aligned with uh, how you're meant to write uh, Agile tests, let them do uh, many of the Agile techniques, test-driven development or... Uh, write very succinct tests that they could refactor very easily and uh, it was one of the things that they fell in love with and many of them have gone on to use Groovy for a range of other things as well so Spock was a really good uh, eye-opener for many, many of my customers. Yeah, I agree. It's, a, it's a, simply a great, great uh, gateway job to, Gro uh, to Groovy. If you want to introduce Groovy in a new company, Spock is, is the best way or the most elegant way to kind of sneak it in the back door it's, it, it's a testing framework, so you don't put Groovy into production day one. Not until people are comfortable using it, then, uh, then it moves on. And I think compared to JUnit, it comes with its own mocking framework, and especially the, the unroll annotation and the uh, where clause, where it's so simple to generate uh, data-driven uh, data test. Just the amount of test and the extent that you get to test, because it's so easy to just, oh, we just type in yet another line and then we get this small uh, small corner case cover too. I think it's superior in, in, in a lot of ways and that's one of them. Yeah, and um, I also think it's not only a gateway drug into Groovy, it can also be a gateway drug into testing or test-driven development for many people because it might be the first time for those people that they see how easy and comfortable it might be to write tests, to write good tests, to write um, stable tests. And um, yeah, it's um, really, really um, great that you, uh, on the one hand, um, can go from this BDD style of testing to, of course, the normal, more technical unit uh, testing stuff. And it goes through all the, all the layers of the testing pyramid very well and uh, works very well in those areas. The other good thing that's uh, been a pleasure to see is that as Spock has evolved, there's now uh, domains within the Spock community that have specialized. So there's, you can go get special uh, Spock facilities for testing Grails applications, or if you want to do property-based testing with Spock, there's libraries now that you can just plug in. So it's um, easy to be very productive and uh, get to testing what you need to do very, very quickly. Yeah, <clears throat> there's something I would like to add. There is now even uh, an extension for Spock, which allows to incorporate uh, Docker into your integration tests, integrates with uh, um, JUnit test containers library. There is an extension which um, allows to integrate this original JUnit library into a seamless way uh, into Spock. And so that's a way to see that the ecosystem as a whole, the JVM ecosystem, the JUnit stuff and the Spock stuff might work well together as well. Yeah, and the, and the entire extendability on Spock, so the test containers, one, also the, uh, the Spock reports. I just noticed that a new release has been out from that where you include the source code of your test if a test fails. That gives a, a very nice a starting place for debugging. You don't even have to, to look up the test code. You get that in the, uh, in the test report. That's great. Um, the other thing that's been very good is uh, or originally Spock was mainly developed by one person, but it's now stretched out to be a, a, a great community. and. Uh, there's close ties with the, the Groovy community and the Spock community. So as Groovy's evolving, Spock's evolving to support the new versions and so on. So the new uh, Antler Parser and everything that's that's coming out in Groovy, we're testing that side by side with uh, Spock tests and so on to make sure we don't we don't break anything. And, and the feedback is going both ways. So that's working really well. Yeah, and, and I think uh, Rob Fletcher finally uh, is putting his last hand on the, on the uh, Spock up and, uh, and running book, which is not just for Spock, but really for testing an excellent book. Is that not out? I thought that might be... It, it is out, but it, it has been out in early release now, but oh, I think okay. it, the official version is, is getting very, very close now. Yeah, okay. Well, I thought that might have even gone across the line, but it may have been an early release that I, I'm thinking of. Yeah. I think it was Spock in action. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Constant is kind of a uh, hard name to pronounce. <laughs> yes. Right. Coding Pipes. He, there is one Spock book out, and yeah. also a, a great book. That's mm -hmm. Spock testing Java code, I think. Oh, right. That's how it's called, so. yeah. 
But yeah, even even the documentation for Spark is excellent. So yeah, we, we've already mentioned it, but one of the the other nice things about Spock is there's so much stuff comes out of the box. So, like we said, there's in in the Java world, you have to go and uh, decide which mocking framework you're going to use, and then oh, do I need to have some sort of uh, CG lib or some other thing? And oh, there's five different mocking frameworks, and some of them require this particular extension, some require that. Whereas there's so much out of the box with Spock, and it just works. Um, work with Java. So you can test your Java, it works with Groovy, so you can test your Groovy. Um, that's, that's a real productivity winner as well. Um, and of course, um, if we think uh, stuff like acceptance testing, acceptance testing my application, um, we might be even able to acceptance test applications which weren't written in a JVM language. It would be perfectly fine to um, have Spock test, acceptance testing, containers which are itself running Python code or Node.js code or whatever, so it, um, there it could shine as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and the JEB integration is, is excellent. It makes, makes for such readable tests that, that even non-technical person can understand what happens and how, how it, it spins up the entire browser ecosystem. Yeah. 